you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over. Crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit nba.com 75 to learn more. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We got a face mask for you. Okay, I'm lying. We actually have a couple of face masks for you. Two designs, a brand new one, so you can keep your face covered during COVID. And look, ours are cooler than Louis Vuitton's, and they're about, I don't know, $990 cheaper. That's a very good point. Yeah. Save a lot of money and look better than Louis Vuitton. That's all I'm saying. And also, a portion of our masks that are sold go to a great cause, the Washington State Nurses Association, and they provide education, resources to nurses across the state. You know you love that. So get your face covered, covid that's right, COVID. Face your, cover your face, COVID. I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah. And the rest of you as well. Get that KISW face mask. Two styles you can choose from now. Let's play B Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. B Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. B Mix. You're a loser. Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we can whack him instead. Whack him. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Woo! Whack it. Man, sometimes these days just kind of blend together. Yeah, boy, you got a great life when you don't know what day it is. Ah, yeah. Ah, you know what? I do have a great life. Thank you. Or yeah. at least a confusing life. Yeah, very confusing. Yeah. Let's get to our contestant today. We've got Ken in Tacoma. Ken, are you there? If you're already a customer, please okay, press shut one. up. <laughs> Ken loses. That was amazing. I'm going oh, home. Thank Ken did you, a great Ken. job. <sighs> and thanks to all the Rockaholics that have texted and tweeted saying that they've called the Cantana line and it worked just fine. Uh, yeah, Reverend Danny. I'm pretty sure there's technical difficulties. There's yeah. no user error on this side. In your head. <sighs> all right, Steve. Get out of here. Yeah. For, those, <laughs> for those playing at home, Ken will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Ken, you can pass all you want, but you'll only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's get it on. According to Google, the most popular car color in the U.S. for 2019 was what? Black. No. Red. No. Gray. No. Who played the title character in the 1997 movie George of the Jungle? Uh, Brendan Fraser. Yes. What comic book movie was the highest grossing film of 2019? Uh, um, uh, 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 Infinity War. No. Um, oh, uh, pass. Which Apollo mission was launched on November 14th of 1969? 11. No. 13. No. 15. No. Which well-known actor introduced Johnny Depp to acting? Uh, pass. The first episode of Friends aired in what year? The mid-90s. 94, 95, 96. 94, yes. Who was George H.W. Bush's vice president? Uh, Dan Quayle. Yes. Be happy, be healthy is said to be the slogan of what cereal? What was that? Be happy, be healthy is said to be the slogan of what cereal? Cheerios? No. 
One, two, three, correct. Ooh, Ken. And that one was a close one, but you got to give the full name on that one. Oh, uh, yes. a favorite brand of that. It's a yeah. It's a very specific one. All now right, I can't then. say anything. Okay, Steve's back. He the clue need is more help. The, there is a clue. There there is a clue. clue. I know the clue now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What are you grinning for, Steve? Oh, it's a great way to start the day. I, you know, my, I have the baby monitor hooked up to my phone, so baby Tatum just woke up and yeah. just ripped a loud fart. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like father, nice. like daughter. I just put a big smile on my face. I can tell. Yeah. You walked in like Very you just proud. won the lotto. Well, let's hope. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, yeah. According to Google, the most popular car color in the U.S. for 2019 was what? Red, no. Black, no. Blue, no. Uh, white, yep. Damn it, I have a white car. Yeah, you do. Who played really the, said white, Steve? Who played? It's the, not really a color red. Shut up. Who played the title character <laughs> in the '97 movie George of the Jungle? Ooh, is that Brendan Fraser? Yes. Yes. What comic book movie was the highest-grossing film of 2019? Ooh, Black Panther. No. Um, Avengers. No. I don't know. Spider-Man? No. Spider-Man. Which Apollo mission was launched on November 14th of 1969? Paul 11. No. Paul 9. No. Paul 6. No. Which well-known actor introduced Johnny Depp to acting? Oh, actor. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, um, uh, Freddy Krueger. No. Robert England. No. Pass. The first episode Spielberg. of... No. Oh, the first episode Spielberg. of Friends aired in what year? The mid-90s. 94. Yes. Who was George H.W. Bush's vice president? Dan Quayle. Yes. Be happy, be healthy is said to be the slogan of what cereal? Life. No. Uh, and Steve, you get three right. correct. And Ken gets three correct. So it's a tie. Wow. Y'all can go whack each other. Yeah. Well, you know what? Whack it. Hmm. Whack it. Wife wouldn't yeah. approve of that. No, she wouldn't have to. <laughs> well, Ken, we already did it. Yeah. <laughs> at least I didn't get a song, Ken. Appreciate it, buddy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, song. I should say at least Steve can get a song. I wish I did, but it's better than, you know, nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you did figure out that white was the most popular car color for white. 2019. Uh, you were very close when you said Avengers, but I needed you to be more specific with that because there's a lot of Avengers four movies. Avengers movies Avengers Endgame yes yeah because Damn Ken, it. Ken had said uh, Infinity War which, which was, was not was no. not that Endgame mm -hmm. yeah. uh, anybody I mean this is just going to be a completely random one which well known actor introduced Johnny Depp to acting was it Nicolas Cage yes it was and why do you know that internet ah Okay. Wow, you know, I actually had Nicolas Cage in my brain, but then I said to myself, I don't see how that's possible. Why am I thinking of Nicolas Cage? So I must have read that somewhere sometime, yeah, too. Like one of those random, like, here wow. are ten facts you didn't know about celebrities. Yeah. He's like, hey, kid, if I could do it, anyone can. Wow, I Nicolas probably. Cage. I wonder if they had any relationship because of Coppola. Because Coppola is Nicolas Cage's, like, grandfather, uncle, or something. I something think. like He's that, in the yeah. family, yeah, yeah, somehow. Yeah, and I'll, I have no idea because I didn't do that much research. Uh, it was Apollo 12. Gotcha. That it was. Y'all danced oh, all around all yeah. the numbers. Because 11 was when I got on the moon, right? Probably. Because you said 1969. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And so that's when we had the moon landing, I think. Wasn't it the 20th anniversary of something? I think. Yeah, probably. I know. I know, it didn't happen in 1969. I just yeah, don't we, know. We celebrated last anything. year, and I was like, wait, we celebrated earlier than November. So well, I'm watching Away on Netflix, so I'm down with space. I just <laughs> didn't get it right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but you know what? I wonder if you got, if you like another show that's on Apple TV+, Plus, but you don't have it. Right. I don't have that. Although oh, the new mind. TV I just bought apparently has Apple TV on it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I smart might, TVs. I'm, yeah, yeah. So Wait, it's got Apple TV as an app on the TV itself. Yes. Yeah, mine does too. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't know Apple was doing that. Yeah, so fancy. Oh, that's awesome. That yeah. saves you from because Apple usually makes you buy their stuff. That's pretty wild that they were and, just like, let's plug the app in. And the giant TVs right now are hella cheap. So I mean, you can get Whoa. a really nice one for. Fairly inexpensive. Yeah, no, dude. I got a, a big ass one on that <laughs> Labor Day sale, uh, sixty-five inch or baby. Whoa, that's stepping huge. up in the world. I, I didn't go. That I went big. from a forty-one inch to a sixty-five. Oh, inch. that's what? that's insane. <laughs> and it's just sitting, waiting to be put up. But I have to wait till I move. So, oh, uh, like, what's boy, the point? you'll be <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man, all the four K stuff you get to watch. The super it, high definition. That's basically football. like a movie theater screen in your I'm house. Never leaving my house. Yeah, but I never leave anyway. So well, I guess I'm just gonna continue to never. <laughs> leave my house yeah. uh there was one that both of you guys missed uh be happy be healthy is the slogan for what cereal vicky should get it because she gave me the hint honey nut cheerios honey nut cheerios the b yep ken said cheerios and those are completely bee. different yeah. 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 yeah ah dang it well shout out to mrs jones she said we want to do a solid and dedicate your beat migs game to all the teachers out there working their butt off for dis uh, for all the social distance learning 
Uh, that would be awesome. Rock on, gentlemen, from Mrs. Jones. I think we need to point out by the fact that uh, the fact that uh, obviously a lot of people are going through difficulties with the way we have to teach kids because of COVID. Understand also that this is the first time for the teachers too. Everyone is trying to figure this out and scramble to get it right. So as much as people are upset, whatever, if there are some glitches, uh, understand that the teachers are like, well, we've never done this before either. No, it's a whole new world yeah. for them right now. It's got to be really weird. Yeah, so a little empathy on every side I think will be helpful. This is a very weird time, especially in states where they are saying, no way are we letting kids go back to school until we're sure COVID's beat. So, yeah, a little empathy, understanding. And Mrs. Jones, thanks for listening. We appreciate that. <laughs> Represent. Represent. So over the weekend, we got perhaps a, a wonderful bundle of joy, if that's what we could call it, when Chris Evans posted a video on his Instagram live feed that accidentally included a still shot of his phone's camera roll. And one of those pics on the camera roll was of his penis. <laughs> the dongage. As, um, as uh, our expert Vicky told us, it was actually a pleasant experience. Yes, it was. Yeah. Didn't also he had a picture just of him like showing what's up, and then another like thing that he turned into a meme, which was a picture of his you know what ski saying it was like it was like the 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 p word protector or yeah. something like that or yeah. guarding the p word something ridiculous. He made his own meme of his dong, yeah, which I, it makes me really love Chris Evans even more. <laughs> he made, it, made his own meme of his dong. Yeah. Who's he sending the meme to? Oh, I hope everybody. His friends? Uh, yeah. Well, he's probably sending it to Robert Downey Jr. I'm sure that's who he's sending it to. Well, if anyone yeah. I was going to send it to, I guess it would be him. Yeah. After some online ribbing from his Hollywood friends, he later reacted by posting, Now that I have your attention, vote. I did see that. It was pretty funny because obviously, you know, Twitter just blew up. So he put it on Twitter because everyone's checking his Twitter page. And he just said, hey, by the way, well, how about, you know, let, let's make some good out of this. And everyone get out there and vote. Yeah, uh, Chris addressed the incident yesterday on the Tamron Hall show. What happened, Chris? You thought I'm having this weekend? <laughs> um, How are you feeling? Uh, you know, it, look, it was it was uh, an interesting weekend full of... Uh, <laughs> Lessons learned, a lot of teachable moments. Um, you know, you know, things happen. It's embarrassing. You got to roll with the punches. Uh, I will say, I have some pretty, pretty fantastic fans who really came to my support. Yes, they that. did. That was, that was really, really nice. Well, yeah, because they all liked the picture. I think if you were like, you know, not sporting a whole lot, I wonder what people would have said. I like. Uh, I like to thank all my uh, female fans for showing so much support and care. Yeah. during this uh, hard time. <laughs> hey. Who's yeah. the show? What the? Tamron? I don't know who Tamron Hall is at all. Why did he give her an exclusive interview? Who is she? I don't know. I never heard of that show in my she life. Slid into his DMs after she saw that pic. I guess so. Good for you, Tamron Hall, for getting the exclusive because uh, it's the first time I think he said anything about it. The Tamron Hall show. It's on weekdays. On oh, she like is she like uh, like one of those Ellen shows, just like a weekday variety show where she talks That's to people. The vibe I get. I mean, she gets some big names. That Samuel L. Jackson, oh. there, Melissa Etheridge. Well, good for you, Tamron. She, she was on NBC News and on MSNBC as well. She looks familiar. Yeah. All right. Well, Tamron, good good job because she scored it. And you know what? With all this news about Ellen, I mean, he, maybe yeah. Tamron's gonna, maybe Tamron's ready to slide in being the new show. Chris Evans is willing to break his silence about his dong with Tamron Hall. I mean, that's <laughs> that's big news. I didn't know Tamron had that kind of credibility. Talk about a journalist. It's like, who would you like to go? Well, I've got to go to Tamron Hall. If I'm going to talk about my penis, there's only one journalist I trust. Right. I don't who trust anyone else to ask shake. me about my dong. Oh, a fair shake, huh? <laughs> what I did there? I did. Yeah. Well, speaking of Samuel L. Jackson, I just saw that he's trying to get people to like register to vote, speaking of voting as well. And if he gets 2,500 people to go to this website where people can vote, he's going to teach us all how to swear in 15 different languages. Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah. I like that. Wow. Headcount.org slash Sam Jackson. Yeah. I, um, That'll be fun. I don't, you know, I, 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 I appreciate that they want people to get out and vote, but I'm very, very surprised because a lot of these folks that I'm seeing that are saying get out and vote are pretty much most on the same side of, uh, you know, of the political spectrum. I would think that all of those folks, from what I see on my Facebook page, they already know to go out and vote. I'm surprised that they still have to tell people that, listen, you should get out and vote. I am, I'm very surprised by that because I think both parties pretty much are incentivized to have their person win. I'm surprised you still got to tell people to vote. But Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm They're very, very surprised because you, know you know how everybody is, Steve. There are active people on both sides and everybody's up in arms. That's why I'm like, you got to tell people to vote? Still, absolutely. 100%. You yeah. Won. My mom didn't uh, register to vote until about two weeks ago when she was here. See? And I was like, Mom, you need to vote. And I had to give her the what was her ex- speech. What was her excuse? Because... I mean, I love to hear from people that don't want to vote because I feel like both sides. Honestly, she didn't want to be called for jury duty. 
Oh, and there she, you go. She was always wow. told since she was a kid that she didn't want. If you don't register, they can call you for jury duty. See, that wow. is wow. Okay, that 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 is a problem. Yeah, it I really mean, is. No, it's like, damn you, jury duty. Yeah. How about you just focus on the people that want to do jury duty? There's plenty of people who love jury duty. Instead, you're punishing some of us having to go to jury so, duty um, let me, to the point where we're not willing to vote for our people in our country. Isn't Jeff. that amazing? So does she have, I, I don't, I don't want to get into what side is right and what side is wrong, but does she have a particular position, Danny? Or oh, you're yeah. just, yeah, okay. Dude. Yeah. And yet, her not wanting to go to jury duty has said, I don't care what my thoughts are about who should be running this country. I just don't. Wow, that's it's amazing. such an inconvenience for some that yeah. they're willing to not register to vote so they don't have to deal with jury yeah, duty. Yeah, that's, that's wild. And just doing a quick look online, CNN posted a thing back in 2016 that 2016 was basically the lowest uh, point in two decades for voter turnout. Yeah. So it's really pushing for everyone to go out Can there I say and make something? a difference. I'd like to say something. I mean, sure, yeah. You have I a would, microphone, feel yeah, free. I would like to say something because, Rev, you bring up a very, very good point. And this is why a lot of people share my opinion. When people don't participate in the process, I think everybody has to realize the process is broken. And that people are frustrated as hell. And that is their way of protesting. There are many ways to protest in the world. And I've talked to many people about this. They refuse to participate in the process because they believe it is a no-win scenario. And I think that Americans have to look at that. It's like when people don't vote, when you – Steve made a good point. Why wouldn't you? I mean, this is your opportunity to change politics. And people are not voting because they believe the system is so broken and so corrupt. The only thing they can do is not participate as a protest. I think that's something that has to be looked at by anybody in this country because you would think people would vote unless there's something really wrong. They just make it into like a fun game on an app. Yes. Oh, you, really? like, yeah, you know, like Angry go. Birds or something, like Plans for Zombies. Or Angry plans Voters. Plans for <laughs> Democrats and Republicans. I love like, this you, idea. You throw birds at certain donkeys or elephants. I don't know, but that's how you vote. I think we'd get more voters. You'd get me to play. You're how funny would right. it be? Apparently, though, now it's because it goes by driver's license for uh, jury duty. Oh, but how Danny. funny would it be if, like, in a couple of weeks, she gets dinged with jury duty? She's going to hate her She son. might disown you. I yeah. know, she may. Yeah. That's you fine. Should, I heard you also promised to teach her how to say uh, curse words in different languages to get her to register to vote as well. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Well, I think that's fun. I think I might just, you know, I'll sign up to register to vote just because I do want to hear Samuel L. Jackson do that. Yeah. I may not vote the way he wants me to vote, or I may not vote at all, but I'll sign up just because I want to hear the curse words. Nice. We got a guy who's caught on video accidentally causing $60,000 worth of damage to someone's home. And his reaction is priceless. You're going to hear it at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A video has gone viral of a guy cutting down a tree in somebody's front yard, but it ends up falling right on their house. In frustration, he launches into a profanity-laced tirade. It happened last year, but the video's making the rounds now, and here's the audio. And you can watch the video on the BJ Miggs page of KISW.com. It's nuts. Jesus. Something yeah. like my father trying Six, to do any home improvement stuff. $60,000 of damages. Now, I don't know if this guy's a professional tree cutter. Is Here's he? the backstory. He apparently is the guy that does yard work for the neighborhood. Like, he's kind of like a landscaper dude. But he's not, his his expertise is not doing tree re- removal and t- cutting trees. But he offered, I think, a deal from what oh, I read. Oh, boy. I mean, you got what you paid for at that point. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. You see the size of this tree, and you if anybody watches trees being cut down, they do them piece by piece when it's this big and, you know, the houses are this close. No, this thing was like three or more stories high. Yeah. As far as the height of the tree. And yeah, I'm watching this. I'm like, I'm no tree cutter guy, but I would imagine that you probably should work your way from the top down. Yeah. It, it was like, what do you think when you're basically just chopping from the bottom? Where is it supposed to fall? It's going to hit something. Uh, they, well, it hit the house. Yeah. yeah. It went, I think if it goes in any direction, there's a potential of it hitting a car. Yeah. And that's why one of the neighbors was like, yeah, I pulled out my phone. I figured I should start filming this because like, I don't know what this guy was doing. <laughs> Yeah, rather than tell him to stop, he's it's like, not my oh, no. house. Yeah, this is going to be great. Let me see how this works out. 
Wow, sixty thousand dollars in damages because this idiot thought he could just chop down a three story tree from the bottom. Like I'll just chop it down this way, it should be fine. Well, lesson learned now. At least you know next time you get an actual professional oh, to do it. Yeah, that's well, I guess you don't have the tree anymore. So uh, well, there is that yeah, yeah. problem solved, right? And I don't think it was the, was it the tree's house or was it the neighbor's house? I don't. I couldn't tell who got hit. It was the home of the person that had him do the job. Oh well, then oh, you you know geez. what you got what you paid for. Yeah, I'm happy it wasn't somebody else. Pretty sure that would have been collateral. I was Hoping it was his house at least, but yeah. man, somebody else's. No, he's just the guy who was doing yard work. And That's I think so that I read, if I remember correctly, I think I read that the the other neighbors still use that guy to do yard work around their house. So they maybe still use him. Well, he's probably going to cut bushes. Oh, I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my house again. Maybe you I, hate that neighbor. You're like, yes, thank you for doing that. Oh man. <laughs> It's the lukewarm topic of the day. You've got to see the video. It is on the BJ and Biggs page of KISW.com. This guy screwed up while cutting down a tree. It landed on a, the homeowner's house and caused $60,000 in damages. So based on this, whether it be at work or at home or anywhere else, what is your massive screw up? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What is your massive screw up? Calls and texts after the Beastie Boys on the Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh... I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on great fall specials like glamorous diamond pendants and earrings to complete any look. Now 60% off. And get ready for cooler nights ahead with 65% off Charter Club damask sheets and bedding. Now at Macy's. Plus, get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in-store. Or try same-day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. A guy screwed up while cutting down a tree as it landed on his uh, the homeowner's house caused sixty thousand dollars in damages. Based on this, whether it be at work or at home or anywhere else, what is your massive screw up? Two zero six four two one Rock, Texas at seven seven nine nine nine. Let's go to Jason and Kirkland. Jason, you are on the Rock. Hey, good morning, fellas. Good yep. morning. What you got for us, Jason? Okay, so I do underground utilities, and it wasn't necessarily my screw up, but I was on the job. But uh, we were doing a side tour. Uh, tie into a uh, lift station, which takes care of all the sewer in the neighborhood. And my boss was supposed to put a plug at the top of the hill, and he only put one on the bottom, so the side sewer filled up. We were in Redmond, and it filled up a $4 million house with sewage water. Oh, a $4 million house? Yeah, the dude just moved in there like a year ago, had it all built. He was from India. He was a big exec from Microsoft, and yeah, it was not good. Oh, man, dude. And it was a brand new joint to boot. <laughs> what kind of yell- was, we, were, we were working, and we looked up, and we were like, what's that noise? And we saw it coming out. It was coming out the side of his, out of his siding, out of the bottom of the house, out of oh. the wall. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that Hey, what is... kind of uh, Yelp review did he give you after that job? <laughs> <laughs> we got a negative five on that one. That's fantastic. <laughs> wow. That is, wow. Appreciate the call. That's trippy. Oh, I don't I don't think I want to live in that house again. I don't care what's going on. And then you're probably thinking, this is my dream home. Yeah, $4 million home. You're yeah. a big exec. You probably worked your way up in life to get to be that big wig at Microsoft. Oh, man, dude. And Maybe a, 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 a whole oh. family, you all show up, and then it's just crap city. Plus all the inside stuff, too. You know what I mean? Like all the decorate. I mean, all the, all the work mm-hmm. you put into it. Like, you know, because uh, some, some of those fancy people decorate those houses nicely. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I didn't even think about the fact that there's furniture inside of Oh, vases or what? You know what I mean? All the fancy artwork, Some I wouldn't be surprised. The fancy dishes and everything. Oh, yeah. Just all sewered up. Nice. Or not nice. All right. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Ken in Tacoma, you are on the rock. All right. Time to double dip, but there's no way to top that previous story. My God. Right. Um, so this is my dad's 
attempt at a recent DIY that's literally happened just the other week. So they're BJ. My parents are BJ's age, so mid seventies. And um, oh, that's really they, nice. Thank you, thank you for that. That's lovely. You're a special and, person. <laughs> sorry, Beach. Um, so my my mom really wanted to clean behind her fridge, and between the two of them, they couldn't budget, couldn't move it. And my dad is makes me think of Steve's dad. He's like, I got a plan. Okay. And so he goes and he grabs his goggles and the industrial uh, powered leaf blower. And uh, it worked, but it created a mushroom cloud that covered the entire kitchen. They ran and retreated into the bedroom for about 15 minutes for it to settle down. Oh, man. A leaf. I, okay. Oh, leaf. <laughs> I love this guy. He does. You know, it sounds like something I might have thought of, but maybe wouldn't have thought of. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Dude, how about this text? I took out some power lines in my garbage truck. Basically shut down a few blocks in Seattle. Million dollar whoops. Oh, million dollar whoop. Wow, dude. Right. Oh, 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Let's go to Brent in Linwood. Brent, you are on the rock. DJ Shay. Who, Who cares? cares? All, All right. right. Brent, what's your big screw up, buddy? Uh, so I was about uh, 12 years old, went into Pro Golf Discount, wanted to try out the new Nike driver at the time. It was about a four or $500 driver, and uh, so I take it, go do a practice swing, and just topped the heck out of it, giant dent right on the top. <laughs> so I... Uh, <laughs> so did you put it back quickly, and leave? Uh, well, I put it back, and I went and grabbed another one, because I've been playing a while, so I'm, I'm not that bad. Um, take another swing on the second one, topped it again. <laughs> The uh, third one topped it, and then I walked out. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dude! So you you ruined three three drivers. Oh yeah, and to this day I don't drive. I am uh, the guy that uh, <laughs> I hit the two iron off the tee. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was playing with a buddy, and he uh, said, "Hey, try my driver," and I. No. About the story until then. Yeah. <laughs> I said, "I can't do it, man." Don't think <laughs> you want. Me. Don't think you want me to try that. Right. You're too good of a friend. I can't do that to you. Time to turn to disc golf. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, you're really not going to cause that kind of damage in disc yeah. golf, at least. 206-421-ROCK, Texas at 77999. Uh, someone texted and said, I left $3,000 worth of work equipment in my car, and somebody broke into my car and uh, in the five hours I was at my house, and I live in the Richmond Beach area. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Another person, I'm a garbage man, and my truck was dropping broken glass all throughout my route the whole day. It cost about $25,000 to clean up with several uh, street sweepers. Oh, Wow. At least they figured that out. That's a beating, leaving broken glass in all the neighborhoods. This is why I could never be a, a, a garbage man. I, I would cause so much damage. I would I would not be good at like I, some, Sometimes you watch some of these dudes and they're just like threading the needle when it comes to turning and it's going amazing. down those alleys. Like, and I'm sure like that it's not it's frowned upon to like hit things, but I would be hitting things left and right. And dude, the way they can operate the machine that picks up your your your, your containers are, is just insane. Oh, I would want to pick up random people with it. Yeah. I, you know. <laughs> Well, I or probably I get my buddies. I probably get like a. There you go. Yeah. Start with the friends. Uh, yeah, get that's... Munson and uh, J Mac drunk and say, guys, I'm going to come on my route. Get drunk. I'm going to pick you guys up and throw you into something. That's uh, that can't go wrong. This is why I'm not yeah, a garbage. Yeah, that's man. that's probably why. Let's oh, go to Pat. Me. <laughs> Pat Tacoma, you are on the rock. Hey, yeah. So quite a few years ago, this happened out in Bremerton, and one of the drivers of the company I used to work for, uh, we delivered home heating oil, and this guy. A lot of times when people would abandon the tanks in their, in their, in their houses, the tanks would be in their basements. They would, um, stick like a rag or something in the pipe that came out the, out of the house into the ground. Okay. Well, this guy got there to make a delivery was at the wrong address, holds the rag out, just starts filling the tank and he was oh. filling the, and when he realized what was going on, the lady of the house comes running out. And by time, it, it, there was about 400 gallons that was delivered into this lady's basement. Oh, man. So she, a basement full of oil. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. Well, the house was abandoned. The house was torn down. And when they started getting into it, they started removing a lot of soil from from them. Of the area, it, it it turned out to be millions and millions of dollars. Oh, Damn, man, that is that's a beating. I mean, and uh, and then you're out of your house, and I mean, who knows? I mean, hopefully they were able to be made right because that's just a lot of people saying it's not my fault. I'm sure I don't want the, the insurance companies. We don't yeah. want to pay for this. Oh, no, they it was a mess. That's for sure. Oh, Pat, I appreciate the call. That's that's huge. Yeah, at least oh. it could have been like you know. Well, you could, you could play the floor as lava. 
Uh, they could play the floor oh, as lava geez. with real, Literally. basically a real flaming floor. <laughs> yeah, yes, you could. I mean, there's uh, a bright side to everything, DJ. Dude, I, what's worse? I don't. I think I, is the sewage problem. I, I, we didn't know the guy didn't tell us that the four million dollar mansion could be moved back into in any way, shape, or form. But the oil house had to be ripped down, and the land had to be moved around. All of that stuff. I don't know. This one person says I had a coworker open the wrong pipe on a fire sprinkler system at the Bellis Fair Mall, and it flooded half of the mall. Six million dollars in damage. That Whoa! sounds pretty bad. At the Bellis Fair Mall. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Six million dollars in damage. That's a lot of mall damage. That's, oh. I see your daughter's in there. Oh, oh. Sarah. Oh, Sarah in, rocking the new haircut. Looking nice. Th- you know what? Thank you, You're Steve. You're welcome. See, I, I need that encouragement because Joey noticed. He just kind of said, wow, it's really light. Yeah. Wow. And I then Danny yeah. noticed and he said, I like your natural hair better. Jeez, so, guys. That's the morning I'm having. Danny, did you actually ah! say that? Yeah, I love I love her natural hair color. Are but you, I said it looks are, really good. Are you an idiot? How are you in a relationship? No. Yeah, really, yeah. you should not be in a relationship. I, and you have well, a daughter. I'm, I'm not I in like a relationship your with your daughter. But yeah, you are. It's a work relationship, brother. Wow. Come on, feed my ego, please. Even I'm not stupid enough to say that kind of thing. I said her hair looks really nice, but I also like her natural Danny, hair. And that's full not disclosure, what you I didn't even notice. I just saw on Facebook she posted something, <laughs> oh, so I figured it's a good time to say something. You didn't notice? <laughs> Danny, <laughs> when somebody changes their hair color, you don't tell them you like what it used to look like. You don't tell them. You looked and better yesterday. That was yeah. the first thing he said. <laughs> what a, like, yeah, wow. So bad. Yeah. What a shed of tools. I'm with you on that, Vicky. How is your girlfriend with you? Does she just not listen to you? She must just not listen to you at all. She Probably doesn't not. dye her hair, really. So that too, yeah. She's yeah. safe in that aspect. Wow. Yeah, I thought I was looking like a model, and those are the first two things. Wow, I get. what a rough morning. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, at least I came through for you yesterday, Sarah. I know. I know. I, I've been married a long enough time. I know the right things to say. Let yeah. me get you some <laughs> breakfast this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. On the rev. Yeah, yeah. Joe was like, "How J Rubs think?" And I'm like, "Oh, he loves it, but also he wouldn't tell me if he didn't. You know, he just sees my hair and is like, I like it, babe. Good job. Right. Unlike Danny, he's smart." <laughs> yeah, he's in a relationship man. with you. I'm going to be Danny, real with you, Danny. There's Sarah. no, no. The, I'm going to keep it 100. Ugh, Does anybody insult. understand that any woman that you have any sort of conversation with, you are in some kind of relationship with, which means you better just know what to say? Yeah, I see it on Twitter. She writes, this bitch is blonde again. Holler. Hashtag new hair, who dis? Hashtag <laughs> it me. <laughs> see, come on, new hair, who dis? <laughs> yeah, people say that. And then I said hashtag uh, it me because it's still me. Yeah. yeah. Oh I, I, I actually like the blondie look because you know what? Mom, Mom's been doing her hair blonde for years and you both have the same hair color, the same natural hair hair color well now mom's probably maybe got a different natural hair color but we won't gray that. yeah yeah so what kind of damage have you done okay this was at the house you know i'm not oh boy. <laughs> i'm not the best driver oh. let's say ah! i've taken off a few mirrors here and there maybe like three or four uh but we the bj just got the house newly painted and i wanted to fit my car in the garage and i thought i was gonna make it and did not really make it and rubbed my car up against our newly painted house. And this is a Toyota Camry, which is small enough. I mean, it is the garage door opening is big enough to get this vehicle in there without even getting close to either side of the garage. I thought I could make it. And she, you should have been able to make it. Any human being could have with that size car. Yeah, so now there's still stripes on my car yeah, from the is. house. Yeah. Sorry. And she continues as we come into the garage every morning because she drives now, so I can do, do you get some nervous. Work. Uh, yes, I do. Because <laughs> we, she continues to drive over the, ju- you know when you pay for, pay for parking? She never makes the turn right away, so she drives over the meter pretty much almost every time. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't this morning, though. No. I did yesterday. The meter's on a giant raised cement platform. Right, no, I know. I yeah. She drives over that platform every time. She somehow cannot figure out how to make that turn without basically driving over the meter platform. Yeah, four-wheeling it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Go to yeah. the off-road for your morning, okay? I, I'm I, making it interesting. I thought it would be easier for me to have you drive us in the morning than me. No, you almost turns, have a heart attack. Yeah, no, it's not easy at all. And she's done it, like, multiple times in the last yeah. couple of weeks. It's she fine. just can't figure it out. I'm still learning, guys. Well, this text says, I changed my hair color from blonde to brown. My boss walks in. First thing he says is, what the hell did you do to your hair? <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that's not what you say to oh. anybody that changes their hair color. Unless her name is Vicky and you want to troll her. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Well, uh, we gave you some free advice when people change their hair. How would you like some free financial advice? That maybe, you know, you might need some help with that. That's right. Our KISW financial advisor is back. And you can call him now at 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Todd Peach from BECU.org taking your calls and texts at 747.
on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Usually with my office, we we do a flat fee that includes all your court costs, filing fees, credit counseling, credit reports in one cost. In Chapter 13 cases, that usually starts at about $900 uh, with Chapter 7 cases. So total costs, including all your court costs, attorney fees, is usually about $1,500. We offer payment plans on Chapter 7, so you can start a file with my office for as little as $200. You can send your creditor calls to us. We'll take your creditor calls while you get gather up your information and, and pay, make payments on the rest of the fees. With Chapter 13 cases, uh, we can make payment arrangements in most cases as well and get your case filed even sooner in a Chapter 13 case because of the reorganization aspect to it. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over, crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit NBA.com slash 75 to learn more.